please describe to me how we feel. Sometimes, Sometimes I, I feel dizzy. I feel like throwing up when nothing comes out. Have you treated typhoid lately? Yes. About a month ago. Doctor, I sent him the medication. Okay. It's not typhoid fever. How do you know that, doctor? I know typhoid fever. Are you sure you're not pregnant? Pregnant. This is not a joke, doctor. <laughs> Sorry. But everything you just described do happen to a woman. Now does that mean that that these women are, are pregnant? Oh, no, no, no. Not in all cases. The woman might just be going through some hormonal changes caused by fever. It is nothing serious. Please take this to the pharmacy for his medication. Thank you very much, Doctor. Nick! Take it easy! You're not well! There you go. I just want you to go away. I will. Okay. I want to do a dance for you. What? You know you like to think you're the best dancer in this picture. Excuse me. Oh, please. Who else is excellent? Oh, please. <laughs> Come on, take your meds. All right? Uh, when you're done taking that, I have bought you food. Welcome. Yeah, well done. Uh, I I want us to talk about that shop, the other shop. Uh -huh, or Guinea. What is it? Uh, I don't know if it will be cheaper. So that I can move my things to that place and leave this place for you. Yeah. Hey, you are really in the spirit. Look. I came to tell you that I can no longer wait for you to pay the rent in beads. And you are here talking about another shop. What makes you think it will be cheaper? Mm -hmm. Who gave you that idea? There is no harm in trying. After all, you have really, really tried for me all. Just pay your rent in full and at once. If you really want to continue using this shop. Because people are offering me more money to give it to them. Yes. Okay, I'm um, Let me see what I can do at the end of this month. Let it not pass the end of the month, Pico. Try. Try, yo. Rather normal. You should be celebrated. It's your birthday. I know. But I don't want the fanfare associated with it. Just a little celebration will be fine. Rubbish. I have already informed my chiefs. And the best female dance troupe has been paid to perform. Do you want me? Where you gonna? 
to appear like a man who does not keep his own side of bargains. So, enjoy. No cannabis. Just a little get together in the palace hall. Please. <laughs> It's okay, my queen. It's okay. Get up, get up. We have spent a lot on my medical checkup. Why spend more on a party I can do without? I have money. I'm not boasting. And we must keep some for our children. They are adults now, you know. Never mind. Except a catastrophe takes place. I can assure you that our children will not worry about money for the rest of their lives. Neither should you. As you're going back to the United States, I will make sure that you and the children lack nothing. I want you to live like the Lord, the queen that you are, even in the U.S. <laughs> Thank you, my king. It's okay, my darling. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Hey, hey, Nicholas. Keep the bag there. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Uh, what brought you here? Oh, I brought um, I brought medicine for for Liz. Uh, yes. Thank you. So, how much is it? I know. <laughs> I already took care of it. Right? It's it's nothing. No, you cannot be spending your money like that. <laughs> how much is it? Ah, well, well, don't worry yourself. They give me the medicine. You remember my mom is, is a nurse at the clinic, so I told them what the problem was and, you know, they gave me medicine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, your mother, for me. I will, I will do so. She's, she's responding, by the way. We can just... Oh, definitely. Can. She will definitely respond to treatment since she has taken the medicine. Uh, you can go. Oh, thank you. I'm greeting you. I saw Nicholas. Yes, he came to see me. Elizabeth, that is the type of boys your father used to warn you against. Mama, Nick and I have been friends since secondary school. Papa liked him a lot. He's a good man. Okay. Time will tell. I came back to prepare food for you. Uh, don't worry, Mama. I've already eaten. You made food? Mm, no, Nick did. Why did you even say you are going to again? How about the Igwe's party that we've been paid to dance? Who will lead now? Lizzie, you will lead. You replace me. I don't need the money. Um, just go with the girls. You guys should just dance. Make us proud. You know? And show them what your mama Stop. gave. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, check this your waist, you know. <laughs> Go away, show <laughs> I'm even your friend. <laughs> okay. You're welcome to my humble abode. Yeah. 
So, this is it. It's fine. <laughs> um, electricity here is epileptic. We see it when we see it. The rest of the day, get ready to enjoy the generator sound. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. the market today. Nicholas has traveled. Now you want to help your mother. Mama, I just want to help you out. Okay. Take it. Go to the market and buy food stuffs hmm? to prepare soup. Thank you, Mama. But I'll add the money I got from the palace, so I can make two pots of soup instead. No. Save your money, we can manage. Mama, I'm saving. But don't worry, very soon we start to enjoy, okay? Amen. No, no, no. You don't want that. Hello. Ah, do I 
Highness. Good evening, Your Highness. Good evening, Your Highness. Good evening, my dear. I thought I recognized your face, but I can't remember where. Your Highness, I danced at the palace. Oh, yes. You were that flexible dancer my Jesus are still talking about. <laughs> Thank you, Your Highness. Uh, good. So, what's your name, my dear? Elizabeth, but I prefer Lizzie. No Igbo name? No, I have one, but I don't like the sound of it. Okay, tell me. I promise I won't laugh. Okay. It's in Jideka. That's a nice name. <laughs> Thank you, Highness. But, uh, I had not seen your face before that day. Uh, Igwe, it's because we just moved from Potakot. We had to move when my father died. Who was your father? Uh, his name was Okeku. Okeku? You, you mean the late clock seller? I knew him. He sold me my first watch when I just finished writing Jesse. Well, um, I want you to come to the palace tomorrow afternoon. I just uh, want you to come have lunch with the king and my chiefs. Wow, Igwe, I'm so honored. Thank you. Uh, my mother will be so pleased. Uh, it's just you. Just me? Yes. You see, your talent has earned you the right to dine with royalty. <laughs> Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you. Hold on, hold on. Alright, here. Take it. It's yours. Have fun. Thank you, thank you, Thomas. Thank you. Where did you get this money from? Mama Diego gave it to me. Why? I don't know. He said I'm a talented dancer and he just felt like rewarding me. Huh? Hey! Lizzie! Your talent has not only brought you money, but also fame. Hey, hey! Diego knows you now. I said I can come have lunch with you and the chips today. What are we still doing? <laughs> Let's go inside so that you can get a, a, a fine dress from my box. No, Mama, I have clothes. Okay, no, why are you? You are appearing before the evening. You need to dress well. You want to go? Come, let's go. Hey! Hey! So what about Charles? Charles is working with politicians now. <laughs> I tell you, you know, I, I seriously doubt if he wants to come to, to this town to, to hustle. That's not him. You see, Lagos is a very harsh place, especially when you don't make enough cash. Or when you don't have a place to stay. Mm -hmm. But you see, the secret there is, you start small. You see, most of these big politicians, big men, big actors, big musicians you see in Lagos today, 
They came to Lagos the same way you did, with a tiny bag and big hopes. Thank you so much for letting me stay here. I appreciate it. Uh, come on. What are friends from here? You're my guy. It's nothing. So, um, I'm not forgetting anything, okay? So I have to rush down to Lekki now. Um, if you're hungry, there's a mama put down the road. You know that Aboki man now? Uh, uh, opposite it. There's a mama put there. You can go there and eat. Or alternatively, you can go to the kitchen and fix up something to either have in the meat. You can, you know, just you're free. You're free. All right. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Have a nice day. Yeah, best of luck. <laughs> no, no, no. I just think it's funny how you decided to take a photo of your surroundings. Oh, that was the same with the time and energy. Because I wouldn't know exactly how to describe describe it. So how have you been um, doing without me? Hmm. Look, you're speaking to the latest royal guest in town. <laughs> What? You danced? Huh? Mm -hmm. And the king invited me to the palace to have lunch today. Ah, that's beautiful. That's that's wonderful. You know, speaking of lunch, I could I could I could do with a feast right now. You have no idea. Well, I can pack you some takeaway. <laughs> behave yourself, please. Just behave yourself and not go having too much fun when you get there without me. I promise. I love you. All right, love. love you more. Notice your the chiefs didn't join us. Yes, you're right. I did not want to share your gracious presence with anyone else. Very good. You flatter me. Everything about you excites me, and you're irresistibly beautiful. Relax. Okay. 
can't be your wife. There is no law that says I can't take a second wife. I can't be your second wife. Eat your food. Don't leave in a hurry. When you get home, think about what I've just told you. Then give me feedback tomorrow morning. Tell your mother that I, Igwe Ugona Izaku, proposed to you. <laughs> Send her my regards. Okay? Hello. Eat your food. Igwe, please, please eat. My queen, my darling. <laughs> Mama, he's old enough to be my father. Age does not matter. It is just a number. So what happens to Nick? You told me he's just a friend from secondary school, Obre. Well, we love each other and we plan to get married. Well, God will give him another good girl. Madam, did your parents force you to marry my father? Yeah, Elizabeth, Gente. It is a royal marriage that we are talking about here. Eh? Do you want us to miss this opportunity? Look, God has smiled on us, and you want to reject it. Mbano. Hey! Nanya. Hmm? Just imagine it. My daughter, my only daughter, steps out. Gorgeously dressed as the queen, with maids and servants at her back and call. Mama, please stop. I don't recognize you. I say. <laughs> Son. Thank you very much, ma'am. Please come inside. Oh, don't worry. The Igwe sent me to come and fetch your daughter Elizabeth. No, you, you heard him. Why the sudden serious interest? I'm sure he will explain to you at the palace. All I did was dance, Mama. I don't like this at all. Oh. Lizzie, go inside and freshen up, then follow him. Tell the I'm not coming. Have you suddenly gone out of your mind? See, you could not bring her. Yes, she refused to come with us. Fetch me in the Amobi at once. All right. wants to marry her, hmm? but she's turning him down. Hmm? Is that so? 
Yes, uncle. He proposed to me, but I don't want him, so I said no. Why, if I may ask? Uh -huh. First, he has a wife. Uh, yeah, that I know. Secondly, uncle, he's too old for me. A coco. And thirdly, I don't love him. That part is easy. Might not. Love is important to me. <laughs> this is serious. But honestly speaking, I would like to be the Ingwe's in law. Oh ho! Please tell her to grow up. But Elizabeth has spoken her mind and she is right. Without love, marriage is nothing. Emenike. God bless you, Uncle. Uh, you see, forcing children into marriage is wrong and should be discouraged. Let them choose and come to us for advice if need be. Emenike, prevention is better than care. That is true. Uh, it's true. I rejected this gift. What makes you think I will accept another? I have not come with another gift. The Igwe wants to see you at the palace. <laughs> my answer is still the same. But he's my Igwe, so I will answer his call. Okay. Let's use the car then. Now I know my way to the Igwe's place. Don't worry. But this is the owner's corner. You a VIP, sir. I've been calling you since what happened. You're not picking up your calls. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't. You called me. I didn't hear my phone ring. Now. Oh, check now. You see missed calls. I've been calling you. Ah. Oh, I had my phone now, right? Ah, you're asking me. <laughs> no, no. I. I... Oh, well, you don't dust them your phone, no. You've dust them your phone. What do you mean? I dust them my phone. What are you talking about? My phone is missing. Missing. You're trying to make a joke out of it. Anyways, welcome to Lagos. I have my phone. Oh, my phone is fine. Welcome to no, Lagos. No, I can't lose this phone. What kind of process is this? Eh? I go look for a job. I can't get a job. I am down. I'm losing my damn phone. It's okay. Just come inside. Let me I can't lose my phone. I can't, I can't lose this phone. How do I? I, I, I can't lose that phone. I can't lose that phone. I can't lose that phone. I 
sight now. <laughs> Sorry, I had to reject your offer. I had to actually consider my brother's uh, daughter. It's okay. I understand. As I'm be told me, you're a very principled person. Yes, yes, I am. That's okay. Okay, uh, let's go talk inside. You don't need to blame her. She's only 24 and has her own idea on how to settle down. That's exactly why I sent for you. From the moment I saw her dance, my juices have not stopped dancing for her. <laughs> I see, I see. Make her do my bidding. I don't want to force her. I'll try. I'll try. Do it. I know you can. Mm, Your Highness, uh, uh, even my own children, I don't have to force them uh, against their will, especially on issues like this. Uh, what I normally do as a father is to advise them. You can do more than that. Yes, it is. 
waiting for you to enjoy it. Hey. Thank you, Your Royal Highness. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. It does not end here. There is the vacant post of Onuhu waiting for you. Uh, but my friend Amobi has been eyeing that position. Oh, don't you want to be my Onuhu? So you can begin to travel everywhere around the world with me. America, China, Russia, Dubai, France, Germany, name it. <laughs> I feel highly honored. Uh, in fact, consider your request done. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know what I was thinking. <laughs> In whose name did you register the car? Yours, Your Highness. Is this your car? Yes, so oh, God is good. You could wanna try na ye minike. If you had told me that you had money, I would have asked you for some to add to my business. Never worry. Don't worry at all. There is more where this one is coming from. Uh -huh. And the thing is, are you ready to play ball? Ball what? Where is that Elizabeth? No. I don't want to marry your grandfather. Is he your grandfather? Huh? Uncle, I'm surprised though. Now listen to me. We want what is good for you and the family. Uncle, what happened to you? Why did you change? My friend, shut up and listen to wisdom. I've given it a good thought and realize that this is a very good move for you. Wow. Not for me, Uncle. Not for me. I have a fiancé and we both love each other. Forgive me. Now listen to me. You better forget about that boy. Eh? And come to terms with it. This present reality. You're going to be the next Lolo and that is final. Wow. Give you the Never. Elizabeth. Eli Some came out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought I had bad. I tell you, half bread is better than none. Yes, yeah, so this is better than nothing. This is yeah. better than nothing. 
Ah, uh, careful. There's a rubber band. I don't see a band. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. okay. Good. Thank you. Thanks, man. You're welcome. The challenge now is, you know, retrieving my old line because you know how these people can be. Every time you go there, they ask you for utility bills and, and stuff. So I don't know what to do. Hmm. I'm that one go out to. Well, now they pay for light for you. We do pay, oh, we pay for light, but the problem is you have to wait till the end of the month when the caretaker comes around to get your utility bill. What? Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> that will take a while now. Yeah, it will be a while. But you can get another line. I mean, this is Lagos. You can find any place to, to buy a new line. Great. <laughs> so everyone reminds me everywhere I turn, you know. You guys don't get it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but aside the places you submitted your CV, I mean, who else are you expecting a call from? Oh, Lizzie. Who is Lizzie? Lizzie, my woman. Oh, okay. Yes, the love of my life. You know, the reason I'm trying very hard to become a better person. Yeah. The reason I came to this town to hustle so that things would get better and then, you know, we can be be together. <laughs> Man, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong here. But you see, hustling because of a woman is good. It's not bad at all. But you have to hustle for yourself first. I mean, hustle for your stomach first now. <laughs> what do they talk? What's the difference? Not the same thing that hustle, that hustle. They are not the same thing. Listen, you could be here laboring in vain. I mean, you could be here just breaking your back because of her. While she's busy, wherever she is breaking in a line on her own back with another man. You decrease. No, Jesse, you, you, you decrease? What kind of talk is that now? No. I'm sorry. I beg, don't ever for your life, for your life, talk about my woman like that. I don't like her. I'm, out. I'm sorry. No, why do you want to bring this sword now? Because I did your house. No, are you don't not tell me to calm down. Are you trying to call my woman a prostitute? I'm sorry. For your life. No, 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 no. For your life. Why don't forget myself? Break your head. What they want to worry you? Don't try more. I'm sorry. No, they turn red because of this matter. I go trip my dick mouth into my tummy and don't me. And I'm so sorry because of that. Sorry. What rubbish. Igwe ah. Gadio. Nije Nano. Nije Nano. I'll go. <laughs> Go and call Elizabeth so that she will come and greet our in laws. <laughs> she has not come out of her room since this morning. No, go and greet her, there's no time to waste her talk. Igwe! Please. Elizabeth! Open the door! Open this door!
alright, it's fine. <clears throat> it's fine. Um, that's, that's my friend, the one I told you about. You must be Johnson. And you must be Lizzie. You're welcome. You're the reason for his madness. Don't mind him. You're welcome. You're welcome to the Open door. Let them help you. Open door, guy. You're welcome. I just. I have never been humiliated like this in my life. This is a horrible attack on your prestige. Your anger is justified. I'm at the palace dancing, the next minute the Igwe, my uncle and my mom, they all want me to be the Igwe's second wife. Huh. That must have been one hell of a dance, eh? Stop, I'm not kidding. I want you to come shake my hand in marriage. Are you joking? How? What do you mean like now? It's okay if you find someone else. Hey, don't talk like that. No. Never. And do the right thing. Why didn't you tell me? Eh? Why didn't you tell your mother? But you should have told me. Eh? You should have told your mother. Do you want me to have heart attack? Eh? Who? Oh. Listen, listen. Where, 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 where are you? What are you doing in Lagos? Are you crazy? To, to the amount that we need to kickstart anything. If I check my two accounts, I don't even think that I have more than 40,000 now. But that's not even enough for, for candy peas and cheers. Not to talk of drinks. That's nothing. I have some money. Huh? Well, I forgot it. I don't want your money. I, I, I'm not going to take your money to get married to you. You know I don't want a huge wedding. All I just want is just your family and my family. I don't want anything elaborate.
don't want time. Oh, fuck it. Marriage ceremony. You don't, you don't want something big. All I want is an unforgettable life. tell you that very soon I I'm going to come with my people to ask for Lizzie's hand in marriage I love her very much child. I'd love to marry her well um, she's already engaged to the Igwe mama I'm not. Shut up. You are. Say my voice up. Get inside. Yeah, Nicholas. My daughter is already engaged to Ibukuna. Please leave her alone to focus on that marriage. You are the only obstacle, only obstacle she has now. Leave her alone. My your daughter and I are in love with each other. You say, love. Yes. What is love? You are not even ready. It's not as if I don't appreciate everything you have done for her. But if that is going to be the problem, just calculate everything and give me the bill. My son-in-law will pay you with interest. Elizabeth is priceless to me, man. Nothing. No one, no amount of money can come between us. Nicholas, you're just being stubborn. Please, just go. Go, leave her alone, just go. leave her. Just like I can't stop breathing. I love her very much. My son, you have to forget everything about Elizabeth and focus on getting a job. Why? Mama, why? Why does everyone keep telling me this? How about me? How about how I feel? How about the emotions? How about the way Elizabeth and I feel about each other? Does that even count? I understand. But not when someone as powerful as the Igwe indicates serious interest. You can never win. God will give you your own woman. There is no woman. Better. Now listen, there is no woman better. Than Lizzie. Nick, don't say that until you have tried. Why not go back to Lagos for now? Well, I am not going back to Lagos. You want to languish over something you cannot change? You know what? I'm, 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 I'll be going to work first thing tomorrow morning to apply for a job. That's good, my son. But I'm not forgetting, Lizzie. It won't happen. Untouchable. I will discipline you. 
Nonsense. Take her inside that dresser. No! Take her inside that dresser. Take her inside that dresser. Go to Kudo. Go with him, find him. Beat him up thoroughly. Huh? Keep him in communicado until I state otherwise. Stop it. Sex is the last thing on my mind. This night of our wedding, what could my new wife be thinking about? Sleep. I want to sleep. Do you know that's because I want my father's name on the certificate? I did the introduction and I paid your dowry, which is the main thing. The rest is a mere formality. I do not have any feelings for you. I am a lion. A hungry 
story that I am. Don't you dare deny me. He owns 10 companies. Half of those are in the United States of America. He's a personal friend to the Vice President of Nigeria. The guy can practically get away with murder. If I'm lucky, your life. Really? And that is supposed to make me feel good? Well, it's not working, thank you. I'm stating the fact to help clear your head off any illusion about Lizzie. I'm worried. I'm, I'm just worried. I don't know where she is. I don't know what's happening with her. I, I, I just want to be sure that her abductors did not have her in the process. I, I'm just worried. I'm disturbed. She wasn't really kidnapped. She was just grabbed and forced to go marry the evil, you know. Now you're free from danger. Go start a new course for yourself. No. I can't. I don't think I can love another woman like I love Lizzie. Yeah, 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 I can't. My heart won't let me. I, I can't. That means choosing danger over feeling. go to my school to um, check for my call-up. 
That's all right. My driver will take you. Okay, no, please. Allow me drive myself. I, I, I don't want any convoy, no razzmatazz, just me. Then go with a guard and a maid. Okay, please. I'll be fine. Um, besides, I, I really want to be inconspicuous. Okay. That's the car. You shut the door. Why? Because we need some privacy. You are another man's wife now, Lizzie. And I clearly cannot compete with one of the most powerful men in this country. Can I? He might have my body. But Nick. Don't do that. You have my heart. Yet you transformed yourself to suit his royal desire. Look at you. This way, if I needed royalty, do you? Nick, I don't want to fight. That's not why I'm here. Once I'm done with my youth service, I'll run away from the palace. I promise to come back to you. Don't touch me. You must really think that I am stupid. Words are cheap. Easier said than done. Thank you. Trust me. I'm doing all of this because of you. Oh, please don't, don't, don't even try. Not, you hear me? Don't give me that nonsense. I never told you for one day to turn yourself into a royal prostitute.
already told you, I had to go to school to check for my call. I sent my men to your school and they were told you didn't show up. Henceforth, you are forbidden to leave this palace without my permission. Teresa. Ah, you're welcome. Well done. Long time. Please sit. Thank you. Ah, how's everything? <laughs> everything is fine. Oh. Uh, welcome. Nick, I'm coming to see whether you want to see me or not. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Why? Without my consent. Well, 
about me? Huh? I die every day. I die every day when I think of that old man on top of you. I die every night. In every night. What are you talking about every night? How could you allow him every night? How could you do this to me? Why would you do that every night? Why would you let him? Why would you let him? I didn't touch her, all right? I, I, I did not touch her. We're not doing anything, all right? We, we, we're not doing anything. the governor and the government house? Well, well, we are doing great. We are really doing great. Your Highness, this is my good friend, Bosco. <laughs> Your Highness. You're welcome once again. Thank you. <laughs> so, to what do I owe this important visit? Well, I came to see you on behalf of Nicholas. Nicholas. Yes, Your Highness. That boy running after my wife. Yes, Your Highness. That boy made my heart bleed. He will perish in prison. Your Highness, Nicholas 
is the only son of my late brother. And I must confess to you that what he did to you was condemnable. An abomination, Your Highness. And he deserves whatever punishment you wish to unleash on him. You talk nowadays. Your Highness, we do not support him at all. Rather, we came to plead with you to tamper justice with mercy. You know we have come a long way. Please, have mercy on him. Please. Um, Your Highness, do please tamper justice with mercy. Please. Myself clear to you. Yes, God. thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I have a job for you through a friend of mine. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Go and prepare yourself. Bring your updated CV to my office on Monday morning. I'll do so, sir. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank, you, Thank sir. you very much. Sir. My God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please, Igwe, forgive her. Lizzie is suffering from copy love. Please forgive her. Talk sense into her. I will. On second thoughts, come see me when you're free. Igwe, is there a problem? A total stranger I thought was an angel. Her family won't give me any useful information. So, I want to rely on you, her friend, to be able to understand her. It will be an honor, Your Highness. Lizzie, you are in heaven, no? Eh? Meat, servant, food, anything you want. Thank God. Hey, but that is sweet. Oh. I beg you. We can treat Lizzie if you want. I swear, I regret the day I agreed to do that dance. You must be tired of saying these things. Listen, Lizzie. Accept the bag of clothes that Igwe gave to you. I have no need for his royal apparels. I don't. Well, he said if you will not have them, I should. Go ahead then. Take it. Have it. Have them. Um, I hope you will not change your mind though. <laughs> anyway, you're my friend after all. Even if you change your mind, I will share with you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My mind is already fixed. Can I have them? Uh. Wait. You shouldn't be kind. 
carry all this yourself. Let my driver drop you. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you. that you're meddling with a small maiden. You just arrived. I would rather we discussed the sweet memories of your trip than the idle talks of busybodies. The gist is all over America among our friends. Even Jerry, my brother, was surprised. Jerry married an evil woman. He won't understand the desires a typical African man has for a young African maiden. Has your lolo suddenly become old? My lolo will always be my lolo. Who is this young maiden? Perhaps you recognize her when you see her. I'm really, really, really sorry. I know how you must feel right now, but I'm sorry, darling. I, I had a lot of work to do at the office and I didn't know it was going to take the time. I'm sorry. I've waited before, right? It's not new. Sweetheart, I'm sorry. Besides, you didn't tell me you were stopping by. What is a surprise if it's not a surprise? Besides, it's not time you give me your specky. Sweetheart, I know you must be very. And you know how much you trust my skills in the kitchen, so I'm going to just take you in. Hmm? I'll whip up something really, really nice for both of us to enjoy. Uh, come on now, let's get him inside. One second. Okay. There we go. I don't want to just help you with the, with the heavier one. Great. Alright, I'll just um, see how after my trip. Don't tell me you plan to travel for two months without seeing your mother. <coughs> Don't make excuses. Make time. Yes. 
next map. Yes, Mom, I am very, very happy. <laughs> Is it Juliet? Okay, fine. If you, if you say it's Juliet, you won't be far from the truth, yes. Eh? You like her? You're making me shy. <laughs> yes, I like her. Now, don't waste time. Good girls are very difficult to find. And I'm close to her mother. Let's go and see her people now. Can we all get started with this story? Okay, fine. Can we talk about this when I return from the US? We'll be taking care of your house when you're gone. Mom, that's not a problem. It's not the first time I'll be traveling out of town. An empty house can take care of itself. Don't worry, Mom. I'll be fine. Mom, Banu, now why don't you think of taking Judas along so that she'll look after you? Then when you travel, she'll take care of the house. Mom, I'm not a kid anymore. I'll be... Hey! Mom? Huh? Can you phone your phone? Uh, are you smiling? Uh, Mama? Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On our run in Belgium. Are you serious? So both of you have been planning behind? Okay. I give it to you, win. This is all right. <laughs> I'll be in touch. All right. I'll call you always. You know, I love you, eh? All right. Bye bye, bye. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, so I still got a chance. <laughs> Please stop it. Where are you taking me to? The first time I saw you was the day you were invited to dance on my birthday. Soon after I left for America, you started hanging around my husband like a prostitute. With all due respect, ma'am, I am not a prostitute. Stop calling me that. I won't take it. How dare you talk to me like that? You're such a baby. A naive, stupid, low-class fool. I told you, I will not take the name Colin. And I'm here to let you know that your plans in this palace will not work. I won't let you have my king. I won't let you challenge me, the Lord. I am not in any competition with you, the Lord. I am in this marriage against my own will. You were never meant to be here. Pigs don't live in the palace. If you're such royal as you think you are, why does the king find you less attractive? He's not coming like that. Don't you? Please. You fought with the senior. You had the guts to challenge the norm. She insulted me. You are leaving this palace today. I can't be with you anymore. All your troubles. All your childishness, they end today. What have I gained from you? Nothing. You won't even give yourself freely to me. You won't even allow yourself to get pregnant. You are useless. You know what, baby? Yeah. You need to go freshen up. Okay. And come show me how much you've missed me for the past two months. Now, you're asking for trouble. Mm. Trust me, because you don't know how much I've missed. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I miss you so much, baby. But tell you what, I'm just going to call my mom, tell her, man. I'll come meet you in the shop. Oh, you really missed me, didn't you? Well, then you know. <laughs> Wait for it, baby. Wait for it. It's coming. Wait for it. She's not, um, she's not close to her phone at the moment. Um, what's your name and can I take a message for her?
You know, call came through your your phone earlier today. Oh, Judith, my friend from school. Yeah, possible. Just that um, this Judith had a male voice, and I was beginning to wonder if men now go by the name Judith. Maybe that's what jump. Sure, it happens sometimes. Not just that this um, Judith, or should I say, male voice, got on the phone the moment I asked him what he wanted and if I could take a message from him. <laughs> what up? I heard you left your husband. And I heard that your girlfriend dumped you. Ah, no, that's not true. I dumped her. <laughs> that's not what I heard. Okay, there are different sides to every story, so. Um, so. You what? <laughs> you go first. No, you go first. <laughs> no, no. You know what I think? It's not a convenient place to. to, to Get started with this kind of talk, all right? Why don't um, we go to somewhere more convenient and you know we sit down and we we'll catch up? Is that okay? Sure. Great. I'll just grab your bag. All right. I did think about you every day and night, lady. I miss you and the good times that we had. My nights have been so cold I miss the touch I want you to know Love has found a way To bring us back together Together we are perfect Together we are perfect Together we sang Together we danced I pray we shall meet again We'll do this dance so far I've been waiting for you I can't believe That you're here I spent with you some years ago My days were so lonely Thinking about you I'm letting you know now That I'm here I've missed you When I spend all this time in my life Been the lost 
lost in the dark without you. Does this emptiness deep in my heart without you? I can't believe that joy I've missed you. I can't.